Blue-Royce Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Walkthrough Part 75 Mesprit is easily the hardest Pokemon to catch out of the three legendaries. Um, you actually have to go back to Twinleaf Town, the town that you started off the entire game at, to get it, because you have to head up to the Verity Lakefront, which is, you know, we've already came back here like two times, so this must be like some super ultra-important lake, because, I mean, they make you come back here over and over again. But, you know, luckily we're actually doing something useful here this time, not taking out any more galactic grunts or anything. We're actually here to catch us a legendary Pokemon. So, spray some repel and we can swim on down, or swim on up, over to the cavern. And just like all the other lakes, you can go and um, find the TM. I think the one here is Thunder. Yeah, Thunder. You can find the TM for Thunder here. If you, you know, explore around the area a little bit. Just like all the other ones, I don't really need it that badly, so I'll head right inside the cave. So let's check it out. Um, yeah, here it is, the Verity Cavern, and here is Mesprit. Now, Mesprit's an interesting Pokemon. It doesn't like to stick around and fight very much. It kind of just, like, pops out at you, and then right when you think the battle's about to start, it kind of just runs away like a coward. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it leaves, which is really weird. And then Rowan, just like, perfect timing, right when Mesprit leaves, just pops right in, just like, that That was so not rehearsed or anything. But, <laughs> anyways, he comes in, he's he's talking to you, and he's like, oh, use the Poketch marking map thing to, you know, track down Mesprit. So I'm like, oh, hey, that's a good idea, I should go do that. So, yeah, it's interesting. Mesprit is now outside, wandering around Sinnoh, and our goal is to track it down and catch it. Alright, so the first thing you'll want to do is head to Jubilife City before you get any ideas. You know, don't be like, oh, I'm going to go catch me a Mesprit and just start wandering around like crazy because you're never going to find the thing. I mean, odds are you won't unless you get extremely lucky. What you have to do is come to Jubilife City, talk to this dude in this building right here. Yeah, see this guy that I'm just like running into? Yeah, talk to him and if you have three gym badges, which I hope you do at this point, he will give you the um, Poketch app for it. And luckily I've already taken care of that quite a while ago actually. Now to find it, just keep clicking the red button on the little touch screen, and eventually you will find, um, let me just put it up here, you will find this thing, and this is the marking map. This is what you have to do to track Mesprit down, and see that little monster thing over there? Yeah, that's Mesprit. That's what you're trying to find, and I'll show you how to use the thing in just a little bit. So, um, let's head over here, and I'm just going to show you something really quick. I'm going to go in between routes 204 and Jubilife City, just back and forth. Nice and easy, just, you know, taking it easy, running back and forth, and yeah, Mesprit, you might notice, has moved. And look, I just keep moving back and forth, and it's just, like, going nuts like crazy. It's like it can't find a place it likes to stay, so it just runs all over, like, just like a, I don't know, it's like a little chicken with its head cut off, just, like, going crazy, but... Um, the goal is to get Mesprit to one of these routes connecting towards Jubilife City, which is where I am right now, because the little box is where you are. So if you're lucky, you'll move between routes, and Mesprit will move towards one of the routes you're in. That's how you find it. Uh, yeah, pretty interesting, right? So if you're just sneaky like a ninja and go back and forth in the same spot, eventually this will happen, which just happened to me. Um, Mesprit will pop into your route, which is actually kind of lucky. I don't know how I get it that fast, but yeah, Mesprit is in my route. So just repeat the process of you know moving back and forth, and eventually, you know, if you outsmart the thing, it'll end up in your route. And I'd recommend spraying some repel because if you don't, you're at risk of running into a separate wild Pokemon. And then it'll run away again. You have to do it all over again, which you probably don't want. So, spray some repels and you get right into the battle with Mesprit. Now, Mesprit is very, very interesting. We've already done all this hunting down, but now it's even worse. If you try to attack it and the thing's faster than you, it just runs away. And after you put damage on it or throw a Pokeball or whatever, it just runs away, which makes it really, really hard to catch. Now, I've been thinking about this a lot, and I've decided there are two Pokemon in the game that are really hard to catch. Mesprit and Cresselia, the two hardest. Those are the only two I'd recommend you use your Master Ball on. Now, since Cresselia isn't till after the game, I think I'm going to use my Master Ball on Mesprit now, because by the time I get to Cresselia, I'll probably have a bit better of a strategy. So, I'm just going to use your Master Ball, or my Master Ball. But if you have a Pokemon that knows a move like Mean Look, you can use that, and that will prevent Mesprit from running. Otherwise, or if you can like put it to sleep or something, 
But otherwise, it's just going to keep running. And actually, I think even if you put it to sleep, it still runs away from you, so it's really a pain to catch. It's one of the two Pokemon I'd recommend using your Master Ball on. Now, that was kind of easy for me. If you want to go and try to, you know, weaken it down and get it with an Ultra Ball or a Dusk Ball or whatever, you know, that's fine. You can do that if you want, but I just think it's easier to use the Master Ball because I think by the time I get to Cresselia, if I decide to ever catch it, you know, I'll be more prepared by then to, you know, keep the thing from running away. I can use something like a Mean Look if I ever catch a Pokemon like that. But for now, we've gotten Mesprit this way with the Master Ball, so let's take a look at it. Yep, level 50, no items or anything, just standard, just like the other ones. Naive nature, that's fine. Um, yeah, and here it's stats, so Mesprit's kind of interesting. Azelf was like an all-out attacker, Uxie was like a defender, but Mesprit's kind of like balanced, it's in between. Um, look at its moves and stuff, and yeah, now we can officially say we have gotten Uxie, Mesprit, and Azelf, so we've gotten all three of the legendary beings.